Kelly Connolly, like most moms, enjoys taking her 18-month-old son to the park. She just didn't expect they'd have to take in cigarette smoke while doing so. There's a concern for me because it's what I'm breathing in, it's what my son is breathing in. Ms. Connolly wants the town of Whitby to prohibit smoking in parks and frankly wonders why it's taken so long. And that I just want to make sure this is a safe and healthy place for my son with the communities putting so much money into recreational areas. It really does seem really odd to me that a bylaw of not smoking in these areas isn't in place already. There are already many Ontario municipalities where this bylaw is in effect. Barry, Belleville, Welland, to name just a few. And in London, where a ban on smoking within nine metres of a playground could be just weeks away. We don't need to send an image to kids that it's still okay to smoke. Anti-smoking advocate Michael Purley says even though it is outdoors, the dangers are still there. There's no safe level of exposure to secondhand smoke. We know that. Um, people may think that outdoors it doesn't matter. It does matter if a child has asthma, if someone has a heart condition. Over recent years, the anti-smoking fight has conquered restaurants, bars, even in vehicles with children. Many smokers say now even outdoors is a problem. If it's a public space, um, then the public should be able to do what they would like to do, um, as long as it doesn't infringe on anybody else's um, own space. Kelly Connolly says that's the problem. Smokers often do, especially in a park. And there's parents that are smoking, and when they're done smoking, they put the butts down on the ground, and then he tries to pick them up and tries to put them in his mouth. This parent will see just how receptive Whitby Town Council will be when she presents her case on Thursday. Anthony Robart, Global News.